Hello everyone, this is Dragonaut and welcome to episode 5 of Household Hogwarts in Minecraft. And today we are going to be starting off the Durham section, which is this section over here, and it will look like this once it is complete. And last episode, we did start off this wing of the Durham section, and of course, we added in the back two towers and the roof of the Vardis entrance, and my gosh, it is looking awesome. However, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. And so the first thing we want to do is actually just build another line along here. The reason is that this line here is actually where the grass is going to be once complete, since the Vardis entrance is starting off slightly lower down due to the landscape, and so we just put one more line up along here. And then we can start off this area here. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave a three block gap along here and then build up one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then leave another three block gap, build up one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And of course, there's going to be this massive tower along here. We will get to that later. And then along here, build two more blocks along here, just to kind of cap it off, just like that. And then grabbing yourselves some smooth sandstone stairs, you can go ahead and place these in the middle along here, just to create that artifact which we have been using quite a lot in Hogwarts. And then behind it, you can grab yourself some sandstone and, nope, some sandstone and place that behind here, just to add a little bit of texture. And that would look like that, and obviously place this behind all three of these archways. And just before we continue building, I would like to say this arm section is kind of symmetrical. So this design along here, it is the same thing as along here, you kind of see the same layout. However, as you may notice, it is a lot closer to the violet entrance on this side. I find it quite weird, but it's just how it is. So this side, this wing is actually longer than this side, and that's just kind of how it is, and yeah. But anyway, let's just get carry on with the building. And then if you grab yourselves some sandstone, and then you're going to want to grab yourselves some sandstone slabs and build them along this line like that. And then you're going to build these up four more blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, just like that. And then leaving a three block gap in the middle, and that's because there's going to be a window there. You can place your another four blocks along here, just like so. And then to cap it off, just build a line all the way along here, just like that. And then grab yourself some new sandstone stairs and place them in the middle. And then grab yourself some window blocks and of course in this tutorial i'm going to be using uh, black stained glass however you can really use whatever you want i just like using this color since it is darker and it's kind of more representative of the texture of the windows in hogwarts obviously if you can do use custom textures that would be ideal and then along here you're going to continue your sandstone just like that along here and then grab yourself some sandstone stairs this time and then grab yourself some sandstone stairs and place one there and one like that and then a final snap on the top and of course repeat this onto this side just create a kind of archway over the window and that will look just like that and then what you need to do is you're going to build another line of slabs of cut sandstone on top of that and then this will take you to the main window of the durham section and so what you can do is along this area you're going to build up 10 more blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and of course repeat the same thing onto the other side so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then of course cap it off with a line of cut sandstone and this will create the area for your massive window which will go right in the middle and so to start off your archway you are going to place two cut sandstone blocks in the in the corners just like that and then using some cut sandstone slabs one there and one there some new sandstone stairs one there and one there create the arch kind of shape just like that and then you can grab yourself some sandstone walls and build up in the middle seven blocks so one two three four five six seven just like that and then you're going to build a beam across just like this along here and this should be one block under this pair of sandstone slabs along here and then you can grab yourself some smooth sandstone wall smooth sandstone stairs place one just like that there and then another just like that and of course repeat that onto the other side, so one there, and one there. And then just to finish it off, you can grab yourself some birch fences, simply because they are kind of the same colour as sandstone. They're not perfect, but it does do the job. And you will place them along here, just in the middle of these gaps on each side, just like that. And then down here, put some cut sandstone slabs, just fill in the gaps, just like that. And that will be the main window of the drum section done. What you can do behind there is obviously place in all of this glass just behind there. Do not worry if the fences and the walls that you connect to the glass, that just kind of adds to the effect. Um, it's kind of annoying, but it's not, it's not really a big deal. And so what we can do is just fill in this entire window, making sure every single gap is covered just like that. And from the outside, it should look nice and smooth. And then you can grab yourself some more sandstone slabs. And coming up to this height along here, 
or there should be kind of two block gaps, so half block, one block, half block, and build that across this entire area, like so. It should leave a small gap up there for the window, that is perfectly fine. So place two more layers of cut sandstone on top, and then grab yourself some sandstone walls. And what you're gonna do is place these along here, periodically leaving a gap of one, just like that, and then round that off with another line of sandstone slabs on top, just like that. And then in this middle section here, you can just place another line of sandstone walls, just like so, and then a line of cut sandstone on top of that. And then behind it, you can really place whatever you want. I'm just gonna place some cut sandstone as well, just to fill, just to make sure none of, none of these gaps in between here are peaking any air. And then you can add a line of sandstone slabs just along there. And then what you can do is you're gonna start off this kind of pyramid or kind of triangle that will start, well, that will lead to the roof, which will lead, lead to the central tower over there. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in one block just from here and start building up a pyramid or start building up a kind of A-frame until you reach the middle block along here, which should be one, two, three, four, five blocks, just like that. And then once you've done that, you can just come again and just come back down, just like that. And then of course, on top of here, you can place some smooth sandstone stairs until you reach the top where you can place a cut sandstone slab. And then of course, come back down, just like that. And then that means we need to build this tower along here. So what you need to do is you need to build this all the way up until it is two blocks above this row of sandstone slabs and then you can go ahead and build in a five by five square up here and so this should be directly on top of that area down there and obviously we're not going to build this out by hand no we're going to use slash fill one squiggle one squiggle minus one another squiggle that's our coordinate below us and then another one squiggle another squiggle minus 32 and then another squiggle and then cut sandstone however another reminder if you are on bedrock edition you will use sandstone space two as the id for cut sandstone and run that command and that will fill all the blocks beneath you so from this block there all the way to that block there and then while standing on every single block you can just run that exact same command of course bearing in mind if you're on bedrock use sandstone too instead of cut sandstone and run down every single block and that will fill in this tower for you very very quickly and there you go that is that tower done and then on top of it you will place a 3x3 square on each of the four sides leaving a gap in the corners just like so and then what you're going to do is you're going to place, while facing this angle, place one stair that way, and then tower on 90 degrees and place one that way, and then one that way, and then one that way there. And then actually you can go ahead and add another layer on top. This layer will not be seen, this will be hidden by our roof blocks. And so you can grab yourself some of your roof blocks, so grab yourself some, some dark oak stairs, some dark oak planks, and some dark oak slabs. And then maybe some, and then maybe a anvil, some stone brick walls, and some dark oak fences, just like so. And then hanging off all these sides, you're gonna place three stairs, slipping downwards, and then in between, place a slab just like that. And then to get rid of this ugly sandstone, we're going to place some dark oak planks just like that in these gaps here. And then so with that, we will place two more layers of dark oak planks, just like so, and then one on the top of each one with some stairs leading into it, just like that. And then build up another layer, so that's one layer there, and then two more on top of that. And then of course some blocks in the middle and then of course as we've always done place some stairs along just like that and then two blocks in the middle just like that and actually place some stairs in here usually i would use walls on my original hogwarts however there are no kind of there's no like wooden wall blocks which is kind of irritating but that's understandable and then place two dark oak walls on top just like that dark oak like sorry a zero brick wall and then a dark oak fence and if you want to you can place an anvil on top just like that one there and then a dark oak fence on top. That will complete the main face of this Durham section over here. And so all we need to do is build in the roof. And so grab Inson's dark oak um, stairs and start the roof from this level here. So you'll see there's this level here, which we built last episode. And so come in one block and place one there. This stair block should be the, the exact same height as this area over here. And so what you're gonna do is just build this all the way along until you come in contact with the end of this line. And so all you need to do is just build this all the way up to the middle. And then once you reach the middle, you'll place a dark oak slab just like that. And then of course you'll come back down. So one, two, three, four, five. Of course it's quite tight in this area. And then place one just like that. And then you can build this line 
the same length as the other wall across, so until that line ends, which is about there, that should be fine. And of course, this line should be kind of symmetrical along the center, so there should be a one, two, three block gap between this window and a one, two, three gap between that window. And of course, all you need to do is just build all this roof until you reach the end of this line over there, and then we can start work on this side in here. Okay, and then now that you've done that, basically just use your fill command. So take this area, take this corner here, and come all the way down to here, take this corner right here, and fill that with cut sandstone. Of course, sandstone too, if you are playing on bedrock edition. And then we can start off this area of this wing. And so the first thing I want to do is obviously just continue these lines along here. So on this line, continue this sandstone kind of line of slabs all the way around here and just wrap this around here. And that will just kind of continue along until we reach the end. And then of course this one down here as well, continuing from the same line along here. And then that will come round to here along there. And then you'll just place three blocks just like that. And so the first thing you want to do is come up to here and break a two by four area just like that. So it should be one block there and half block here and place in your smooth sandstone stairs. And of course build in the window behind and that will look just like that and then coming down until you are one block above this area break a another two by four area and do the exact same thing placing the sandstone stairs in there for the archway and then add in your glass behind and that should look just like that and then if you drop down here you can add in the final window the third and final window so if you drop down half one and a half blocks here you will break a four by five area and then you can place back in the corners along there and place in smooth sandstone stairs and then along the sides you'll place some sandstone walls and the reason we're doing this is because this window is slightly larger than the other two up there but not slightly large enough to qualify as an extra block and since sandstone walls and since walls in general they're kind of like 70% of a normal block it does give us that extra leg room behind to create a slightly wider window which is really important for the accuracy of the Hogwarts model and that will look just like that. And then the next thing you want to do is to take these four blocks here that stick out and build this all the way up. So just keep building this up until you reach this height here. So this should be along here. So these are the second window. These are the stairs. And just come along here and come down one block. And this is where this is going to end. You'll place two sandstone stairs there. However, on this side, it will continue up. And then you reach here, destroy these, and then continue until you reach this height. Basically, same areas there, two blocks under, and then just pick up it off with two sandstone stairs. Moving on to the right, you will add a 3x4 window, and as usual, add in the archway of stairs, and then add in the glass behind, which will create a very nice archway there, and then come along with leaving a one block gap, place some more, basically place another identical one of these pillars, ending it just at this height there, and then just continue this three blocks down. The reason we're not continuing to the ground is because the long gallery is in this area along here, and this roof kind of slopes up along here, so it's not really required. And then add in your final window right here, using the exact same method of some sandstone stairs and the stained glass behind. And that will look like that. And that will be the, this side of the wing done. And it leads very nicely on to the central tower, which we will not be doing this episode, we will be doing at a later episode. However, I think we could, we should be able to add in its kind of like layout. So what we can do is if we come to this corner here and you build an L-shaped kind of thing along here, just like so. And then you can just come along here and then until you reach here and build out two more blocks and then build a line out along here. And then it doesn't really matter where you stop, just stop at some point along the lines this. And then you can come to here and then of course build out two more blocks and then just continue this around here until you come in line with this and that and you can just link these two lines together. And that is the lining of the central tower. And actually hang on, you can go ahead and complete this line along here as well. And that is where the central tower is going to be. And this is really important since this is Ravenclaw Tower where we're building it. And this will be the Ravenclaw common room up here in the kind of tower itself. And that is one of the wings done of the drum section. And so what we can do is repeat this entire thing on this side. However, as I mentioned before, you will notice this side is a lot closer to this side. And so rather than having four windows, we will only have two. However, the basic design is identical in this area along here. And so what you're going to do is start off is just to build another layer along here, just like so. But it's just making this entire bit just one block taller. And then you can start off the exact same thing as we did on that side, starting off with this area over here, which is basically identical, except obviously this length along here is different. And so if you need a refresh on how to build this, you can go and go ahead and go back to my old episode four and you can watch how I built this. However, if you're fine with that, 
you just go ahead and keep looking at this for reference and then just build this on to the other side. It should be very easy to follow. And so let's just build that onto this side. And so that should go to that once complete. And of course this is identical to the opposite side over there. And then all you need to do is you can do another full command, so slash fill, one, two, three, and then come down to here and then take these three coordinates right here. And of course use cut sandstone and of course sandstone too if you are playing on better condition. And that will fill in this line along here, just like so. And then of course you can use building the roof. So come around here and then wrap this along just like this just like we did in the last episode and so this will come around and wrap around just like this and then you'll just continue this until you come into contact with that wall over there and of course i am going slightly quicker than usual i would on this side since we've already built it it's basically identical so i think you guys will be able to manage however if you do get stuck you can join my discord server for support and then next we need to do is we need to rebuild the main durham window and that will be going right here along with this tower along there and we will build this just right here you can see that tower will go there and the window will go just here so obviously just go ahead and repeat this onto that side and then once you've done that obviously you can now add in the windows along here and so if you go to the exact same height which is along this line here and you can just build this along here until you reach this wall here and this will be the height of your windows and so the first thing you should do is obviously just fill in this entire area with the correct blocks leaving this gap obviously here for the central tower and so you can go ahead and fill in this area with sandstone obviously we can use the slash full command it's really quick we would cut sandstone obviously sandstone too if you're on bedrock edition just like that and then leaving a three block gap for window one you will build your first window just in this area like so and so if you grab yourself some smooth sandstone stairs as usual to build your archway that will go in right here and then obviously add in the glass behind obviously this is identical to that side except it's just a little shorter so that instead of rather than four windows on this side there will only be three and then leaving a two-block gap you can add in the gap for your next window and then two-block gap and then your next window in here and as you notice there is another one-block gap right there just add the same as this side here and then obviously you can go ahead and add in your smooth sandstone stairs to add in the archways and then behind them you can add in the black stained glass to add the window and on my main Hogwarts map this is currently where I have my charm classroom I may move it however I'm just utilizing this main window here which looks quite similar to the charm classroom one it is slightly different in shape but it's that large window and that's I decided to have that as where I would have charms and so after that we can now add in our roof it's obviously identical literally except it just ends there and so you can go ahead and add this behind obviously with a dark oak slab in the middle and then come back down just like we did on the other side just like that or oh, it's very this front the one's very awkward angles build and then of course the last one there and then if you go to here come back two blocks and then build along here until we reach this area along here and this will be our edge and then again all you need to do is just complete this roof along until you do reach the middle area where the central tower is going to be and so let's just go ahead and fill in all of this along to there and then that will be just like that and so all we need to do is head to this area down here and so obviously the first thing to do is obviously use our slash fill command to take this block here and come down all the way down 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 to here and take this coordinate here and obviously cut sandstone again obviously sandstone too if you are on bedrock and then we can add in our windows onto this side and obviously our windows on here are going to be a little different since obviously it is a shorter side than this side and so what we're going to do is we're basically just going to skip that 2 by 4 window on that side and just go instantly into our 3 by 4 window so leave a 2 block gap along here and break a 3 by 4 gap along here just like so and place in your smooth sandstone stairs just like so and then you can take this sandstone slab and just pull this all the way to the end and then in the middle just on the other side we will leave a one block gap and then build a two kind of like wide pillar kind of thing right off with some smooth sandstone stairs and then just kind of bringing it down maybe four blocks it will obviously be replaced by the roof of a long gallery which is along this section over here and then we'll place another three by four window in here using our sandstone stairs to kind of cap it off. And then of course our black stained glass along here. And then that will look like that. And that basically concludes this episode. So we did a lot of stuff in this episode. We basically built, we did build, we did build both of these two wings of the Durham section of the East Wing. And my gosh, they do look really, really cool. And I cannot wait to build the 
Central Tower next episode. And so, without further ado, I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you would like to stay tuned for more, please press subscribe, it's free. And you don't have to, but you know, I, I really appreciate it, it would support the channel very much. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video and it did help you. Maybe leave a comment, and as usual, make sure to join the Discord server if you do need help or just join it for a fun community. We are now approaching 350 members, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys very much for watching, and next episode we will build the central tower, which is the Ravenclaw common room. And before I do get any questions, the answer is yes, I will be building some interior locations. I will be building the all common rooms of Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. I will be building the Great Hall and I don't know, other extra locations for some Hog Hagrid's hut. And then classrooms as well. I'll be building potions, defense against the dark arts, transfiguration, maybe divination is quite small. It's gonna be hard to be fit in. Um, but anyway, mainly classrooms, they will all be added. So without further ado, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, press subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in the next episode.